Welcome, ladies and gents, for a game of civilization the likes of which you've never seen. Today, I tricked three of my friends to join me for a perfectly normal game of Civ 6. We have Potato McWhiskey, the world's premier Civ YouTuber, Veil Fisk, a designer of multiplayer torture devices, and Ambiguous Amphibian. He's, uh, from Florida? Anyway, they were told to join me for a short multiplayer game of Civ, and they had no idea what modification. I'd made to the game. So, time to reveal my alterations. Say hello to Civ 6 Extreme Edition. It's extreme because I've increased pretty much everything by 10 times. This means, for example, that unique nation skills have entered into silly mode. Take Scythia. Scythia, when building one cavalry unit, now gets 10 additional copies for free. Wow, that's perfectly balanced, but it gets better. Their horse archer unique unit now gets an additional plus 10 range, turning them into long-distance artillery pieces that simply have no counter. Exactly as our lord and saviour Sid Meier intended. Now, of course, going into this, because I tested, I knew all of the most broken builds that allowed for wins in just 20 turns. So, naturally, I'm here largely to observe and not to win, but I will still, of course, be doing a very, very silly build. So, place your bets on who you think's going to win today's majestic video in the comment section. Do it now! Now, I made our players pick their sieves ahead of knowing about the actual mods. This way, they wouldn't have an overpowered advantage. That said, all three of them picked absurdly broken sieves. Potato is playing the Creed. They get 10 free traders that claim the tiles that they move on to. This means that his empire is going to become a nightmarish mess of border gore. His unique building and trade routes will also make him stupidly rich. And his starting unit, the Scout, is replaced by something that starts with the same power as a musketman. That's right, this man in the ancient era has a gun. Veilfisk is playing the Zulu, who will have the most powerful units in the game, with his impies eventually equal the power of a giant death robot, but he needs to survive long enough to unlock them. Which brings us to AA, channeling his inner American dream as Teddy Roosevelt Rough Rider, also known as the Purge Lord 5000. For if you're on the same continent as Teddy, you're going to get forcefully relocated by his plus 29 combat strength. And finally, I'll be committing dastardly shenanigans with Mapuchi. I get plus 44 combat strength against players in a golden age, and defeating a unit in an enemy city lowers its loyalty by 90. So with all of that set up, let's begin the game. It's gonna be fine. There is a turn timer that is dynamic, so we're all at the same disadvantage. There's a lot of world wonders and such that are very good. The statue of Zeus, I think, gives you 30 spearmen. Um, so <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just be careful of that one. Wait, wait, wait. So we have the 10x mod, but what are the... There's five mods, right? What are the other four mods, Biff? So we've got 10 times Pantheon, uh, Civilization Traits times 10, Suzerain times 10, and Wonder times oh, 10. Oh, so it makes, it makes times 10, right. We got a lot of times 10s. Uh, I'm going to settle down my capital, just because... Yeah. You want to get going as soon as possible is all I would suggest. Yeah, I, I think like moving a single turn here actually might be a huge um, danger move. So I'm gonna go just settle in place. Good early wonders. Stonehenge gives you 10 great profits. Um, Hanging Garden, 150% growth in all cities. Etymonarchy is plus 20 science and pro uh, 10 production on all marsh tiles. And Temple of Artemis is plus 40 food and 30 housing, should you desire the <laughs> largest city in the world. <laughs> Oh my, Pyramids gives you 10 free builders and 10 extra charges on builders. <laughs> 10 extra charges? <laughs> you it's build like, it and you like never Civ need to make a builder again. Yeah, Civ 5 builders where you, they just work for their entire life. Wait, what map type Nor is this? I. Uh, this is Pangea. Oh god, so we're all in the same place. We okay. are all That's on the, the same continent. Oh great, I'm stronger on my own continent, so that means everywhere. That means every- oh wait, yeah, you're not- oh my god, he's- He's f***ing Rough Rider Bulbous! Oh god. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna get foreign trade and get one extra trader. I'll be up to 11. <laughs> you don't need it. You don't need him. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plant down my first Mikwape here in a moment. I'm just beginning to realize how powerful I am. Okay, I'm coming for you guys. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. AA hey, discovering he can one-hit the barbarians. <laughs> After all, why shouldn't this land belong to me? I have explored so... This is absurd how strong this sieve is, actually. These are Kitchitas are like clearing barb camp solo, like in one hit. <laughs> yeah, that gives you the money to buy more of them. It's brilliant. So, um, AA has actually never played Civ before, Potato. Um, just so you know. Uh, Ooh. So, if he wins, he will have a 100% win rate. For right, and then you have to uninstall and never play again. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 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 Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm leaving. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> 
I didn't I see it. If I, no, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Spread. Oh, didn't fuck. See it. It's Potato. <laughs> Hi. Uh, where are Vail, you? It's AA to the left of you. I don't know. Who is Laventa? Is that one of you? Oh, fuck. He's found Laventa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. My Okichita can one shot your scout and take like three damage. Yep. Uh, do you want that goodie hut potato? You can have it. You mean my goodie hut? <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the mausoleum at Harley Carnassus. Mm. I think that's the that's the smart play. That's the meta pick. It's either that or the statue of Zeus for thirty archers, thirty spearmen, and ten battering rams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can now make, pick my pantheon. Uh, this is so this is such a difficult choice. I know you guys can't even see this choice, but I promise you, it's a challenge. If I had faster border expansion rate potato, and considering my city is getting thirty-seven culture per turn, would that mean my cap? <laughs> Capital grew very would grow very fast. Yes, you would probably gobble up a tie like every two to three turns. Uh oh, mm, that could be useful. Okay, fine. We're going for 150 cent border growth. Let's go. Oh god, it's <laughs> it's objectively not a good one, but I just want it. <laughs> oh, I get to pick a pantheon. Uh oh. Have fun. Oh, there's your capital veil of ah. Is, ah. I usually don't reach this level of like not being able to manage my empire until about a hundred turns in, and then <laughs> it's already it's too much. No, nope, you're gonna get it right now. I'm afraid, potato. Enjoy. Oh, that's a nice settler that you have there. <laughs> oh, you trapped me. I don't believe it. I, Buy me I out. thought you. I thought you were gonna kill me. I thought you were gonna <laughs> steal my settler. <laughs> I, I was thinking about it. I knew it. How's everyone doing in terms of Golden Ages? Uh, I have 34 out of 22 Golden Age points. I think you might be going into a Golden Age golden potato. Age. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's very bad news. <laughs> it's really bad. So, rundown of the stats. Potato has a military strength of 281. Oh uh, god. He is getting 18 science per turn and 26 culture per turn. Uh, Vale, you have 49 military strength, <laughs> 5 science and 3 culture. I have 20 military strength, 9 science, and 42 culture per turn. It's nothing to read into there. Do I want to build the Colosseum? I could be the person to build it. What does it give? The Colosseum provides 20 of the following. Cult. <laughs> 20 loyalty per turn, 20 amenities to each city within 60 tiles of the Colosseum. <laughs> you know what? Tiles. Maybe we should go for it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and then the, t the age is going to end one turn before I'm done with my wonder, so I think I actually am going to go into a dark age. You can't, ser you seriously can't dark age in this game mode. You say that, you say that, Spiff. I'm one point is away. Is that even possible? That can happen? That's a thing? Yeah. So look at the if bottom If you right, just don't okay. advance enough, <laughs> you're particularly right. bad, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'll happen. If you look at the bottom right, AA, um, there should be a little thing that says your era score. It should be a number. Oh, no. Number. What is oh, your you oh, we'll be okay. No. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, we won't be in a golden age, thank God. What uh, is it? We're at 17 out of 22. Okay, you're also you're going to normal age then, probably. <laughs> I have eight. Eight? <laughs> Eight. How? Eight. Eight out of nine. Yeah. I think I could AFK more than that, Vale. Of course. <laughs> it takes skill to be at this level, but you don't understand. I should probably attack Vale. No. Get him. Get him. I'll pay you. You can, you can just announce it. Yeah, we're going to have a city coming. right near yours. All right. Chicago. Kill him. Get him. Get him. I think he could. I don't have walls. I, I think I can kill Vale. Yeah, I... You might be able to kill me, too. Wouldn't it be ironic if I won this? Wait, did one of you build the uh, panda? Yes, yeah. I just finished it. You fucker! <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Your fury fuels my soul. You well, can't I, make everyone happy all look, the time. As long as you're not building the mausoleum at Harley Carnassus, just leave mausoleum at Harley Carnassus alone. Oh God. Right. I'm just going to start declaring war on everyone because I'm worried because everyone else seems to have a plan. Yes, except just, me though. Except me, right? You can leave me out of this. I'm not involved. Actually, hey. you, were, you were the first one I was going to declare war on. <laughs> no, 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 please. <laughs> please, I beg you. There's I, no I, need to do you that. Ha I mean, you happen to be. It's nothing personal, but I'm hoping that your level of procrastination will meet my level of inability. That um, <laughs> it, we'll have sort of a fair fight after maybe a couple hours. Oh, damn. I declared the wrong war. You, you declared war on me, I think. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. Can I take that back? Sure. I think we have to wait ten turns or something. We have to though. wait nine turns. Yeah, no I'm supposed takes to be back declaring war on, on Vale Fisk. No, no, you're Never not. Mind. No, you're not. Sorry, Vale. I'm going to declare our war on you in a few minutes. I'm just going to finish exploring the rest of your honestly psychologically questionably named uh, civilization. It was. Have a you sought therapy health, yet? I don't think I'm going to live long enough to see a therapist at this rate. Yeah, I don't, I don't want you around here either, uh, Potato. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. I'm just going to start spamming up kitchen dolls and send them at you. I'm just going Dude, to sort of go. You should trying go find to him. He's slow you all threat. down because I'm worried. I'm just worried about what's going to happen. I'm a little bit paranoid American civilization didn't exist at this time, honestly. We'll just keep sending presents to the AI. I have a question, Potato. Why are you making 178 culture per turn? Don't worry about it. Why? Stop looking at the stats. Why, why are you... How? Why are you painting a target on me? How? <laughs> So I made friends with Nan Madal, and I recently discovered something, Spiff. Did you know that mm -hmm. wonders count as districts for Nan Madal's ability? So I put a bunch of wonders on the coastline, and now I'm getting 20 culture per wonder. I've seen something horrible. Potato, I can see where you've sent a trader to my city, because it's just a worm <laughs> extending <laughs> from your <laughs> empire coming towards me, and I know it's going to steal my borders. Your borders are not safe. I have to buy up land extending towards it so that that's an act of war if you buy land that's an act of war fine it's your land i'm sorry <laughs> this land is my land i finally found spiff oh god oh i've been searching yeah. all over the world hello mr teddy roosevelt i forgot to say there is actually a prize for the winner of this game there is yes. oh, one of my prize. prizes Ooh. where i pull the rug out at the last minute no there is an actual prize that's a real prize a real that's prize bold. uh which I will give myself if I win, but if you guys win, you get this prize. French okay, you can have too. the book. Wait, what is that? Book of Thought. Oh, uh, wait, this is going to get rid of all of Jeb Bush's faith, isn't it? That is the prize for peace. Okay, <laughs> you know, Bush I'll, give, I'll give you faith. my book of thought for peace, but I want 30 gold a turn. Done. 30 gold per turn is nothing to him. Okay, That's like um, one tile improvement. <laughs> let's say 100 gold a turn. 50. 70. God. 55. 60. Done. <laughs> you got a deal. <laughs> the yard of the deal. Okay, we're gonna have a surprise war with Vale. Yeah. <laughs> You there timed you it poorly. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, it really, it really, I still am trying to figure out, find the wheel here. Potato, whereabouts are you on? Oh, wait, I can see. You're in the Renaissance era for culture. Should That's right. You can be up to having the Enlightenment already. Yes, I'm getting the Enlightenment <laughs> in two turns. Meanwhile, two of our players are still in the... Still in the ancient era. I guess I haven't <laughs> lived <laughs> four <laughs> culture per turn. <laughs> I did just finish a Petra. And I'm going to start laying down Alcazars, uh, which give 20. Oh my God, 20 culture and 15 signs. 20 Man. food, 20 production, 20 gold, 20 culture, 20 signs. You know, Vale, maybe I shouldn't have declared war on you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I'll make, uh, I'll accept the apology. I own you, your land yeah, now. This I'm seems sorry. like a fair trade. Well, I'll, I'll uh, you know, this. I mean, I could, I could give you our whole civilization, but by the sound of it, should we make an alliance now against them? We'll be like. I think this uh, is a good idea. Yeah, we should do the yeah. alliance okay. instead. Okay, good, good. I'm sorry. That famous historical long-running alliance between Jeb Bush and Shaka Zulu. Okay. Now that we're probably about halfway into the game, how do you feel about this experience? This is great. I, I, yeah, this has gone really well. I feel a sense of power and dominance that I've never felt before. In terms of a tier list, would you rate this above or below Sid Meier's Beyond Earth? <sighs> Ooh. You know how, like, the um, temperature scale works? Like, you know, zero Kelvin is, mm -hmm. like, the absolute zero of the universe. Like, that's how we measure against everything in the world. Uh, Beyond Earth is the zero Kelvin of is a game good. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is better. I, I think I have to disagree. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the only thing I would place above Beyond Earth is the DS edition of Civilization Revolution. And nothing <laughs> Ooh, I loved that one. <laughs> Wait, are we saying that it was bad ironically no, or unironically? I, I thought it was actually pretty good. I really loved that game. I think I played more of that than the main games, which is why I'm struggling right now. Oh, I forgot. About, I'm going to eBay right now. I got to buy that. Hey, Potato. Hi. War. Why? My tiles. He's pillaging me. No. <laughs> He's pillaging you. Uh, sh oh, he actually is really strong. Uh... He's killing me with scouts. What do I do? Oh, no. Oh, Suffer God. the wrath of my loyalty damage. 
Oh no, he's the only one. I forgot about the whole thing. He kills units. Oh no. You think you're oh, um, Team Man at Arms will survive against my slinger that can do more damage than a field cannon? Oh my god, your spearman? Kills my man at arms in two hits. Uh, so guys, we need to deal with Spiff. This is bad. The only person who can deal with me is Vale because he's not I in can? a golden era. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. I'm not. For now, I am above the threshold for the next one. So sorry, I'm just I'm trying to figure out what I do against this. Well, I'm sorry, Mister Four Hundred Culture and a Hundred Science Empire with a bajillion gold and faith doesn't have a solution. Oh, look at him building up walls. And I'm gonna plink you for like three damage. Look at that. Ow, my scout <laughs> felt that. Oh, why did I build such a big M? <sighs> this is save <laughs> regret. Know, this I is know. save regret. <laughs> this is just, why did I do this to myself? So like every unit in the game does a minimum amount of damage. So here's my strategy. I will just drown him in crossbows. <laughs> and as long as I'm doing a non-zero amount of damage, eventually his units will die. Um, there's there's logic to that. Pantheon. I don't think we ever got a Pantheon. I had one before. I don't know what happened to it, though. I thought that was a statue or a character in League of Legends. Oh, no, the <laughs> volcano erupted right next to our... Why did I build my civilization next to a volcano? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Oh, my God, he's killing my capital. That's not good. Sucks to be you. Yeah, look at you. You're running to the hills now, aren't you? Yeah, you built a wall, you fucker! <laughs> That's right. How dare you? That's illegal. What, what? How much do I have to give you to make you go away? What? What do you want? Um, a thousand gold per turn. <laughs> I, I have six hundred. Okay, that'll do. No, no, that's <laughs> all of it. That's all of the money. You can't have all of it. You can have some. You can't have all. Okay, let's negotiate. Seven hundred. Hmm. Wait, wait, that's higher, that's, isn't it? That's, that's more than I make. More than you make for now. You can't just strip me dry. What no, no peace. I reject your peace offer that I had proposed. Okay. Oh, he's cool. still running around with all those pyramid builders. Yes, because they had 14 charges. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I was like, oh, but they'll surely they'll go away, go every, away fairly quickly. Every least. tile in his empire is pretty much improved. <laughs> do like, you know the level of micro I've had to do every turn for the last hour <laughs> to, to achieve this level of improvement? <laughs> Thing is, I invited the rest of you because I knew you'd have a fun time. I invited Potato because I knew this would actually hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> Crossbowman army? That's right. <laughs> An army? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, you were Renaissance potato. You're now in the industrial era. <laughs> uh, I'm in the modern era, actually, and I'm about to research fascism. No. <laughs> oh, no, that one gives funny bonuses. It does. Doesn't it? All units get plus five combat no. strength, plus 50% production towards it. Wow, your crossbowmen are doing one damage to that scout. How is he so tanky? He has 141 combat strength. He's getting 60 defense from standing on that fortress. <laughs> <laughs> I right, I'm fortress just gonna, and... I'm gonna keep my scout there for fun. <laughs> He's gonna have a grand old time. Oh, I need to shoot him five times a turn just to overcome his passive healing. Our volcano is no longer active. Why did I build this civilization? I'm gonna know the next time we play not to build my civilization next to a volcano. I think I only feel safe because I've still not met you. And so I cannot see the numbers <laughs> that would be next to your name. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to guess how many digits my culture is now? <laughs> four? Is it four? It's up to four. Oh God. Potato has a score of one, thousand one hundred and seventy one which is ten times more than everyone else his military is one thousand one hundred and fifty nine and that's after deleting a bunch of it he has three hundred and thirty four signs per turn as well as one thousand six hundred culture per turn oh, Ooh, oh, oh, oh yeah. let's give recon units plus five combat strength so that my scout can never die i think recon is going to be useful for this one no you're going to force me to spend my points and great admirals recon Ooh, we could all use some admirals I only have one point total. Yeah, I only have. I don't great. think I have much of a say in it. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so points. either. I have six, six diplomatic favor, hundred ten diplomatic favor. Not as much as potato. Yes, he was very nice to me. That's true. That's How right. is it that Vale is only at a one? We declared war on him and then changed our minds and said sorry. I'm pretty I'm sure that's never sure. happened in the history of the world. We did it. We won. <laughs> Re Wait, recon. Everyone did recon. Everyone voted recon. They lose. Wait, lose five combat strength. Oh, what? Five five that was an way. option. <laughs> How could you? Okay, let's let's peace out here. I will I will make peace with you. 
and I will send you for your troubles ten thousand gold. <gasps> Accepted. Mm, yes, yes. So you you like paid this. him money. Yes, give me ten thousand gold. Can I also have some spices and marble? Oh, and tea. You can, can I have tea? You can have all my luxury. You take them all. You just grab any spares. Yay! The greatest peace deal ever proposed. I love this. You, you invaded me, and like I took pity upon you and gave you what you wanted. Yay! Pity victory. Uh, okay, my my wonder has stopped working. Why is it stopped he working? He who writes the best haiku in chat gets 10,000 gold. Oh. 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 Every turn that goes by, the bounty goes up by two and a half thousand gold. Cheerful, a forest, a glorious frog wallows under the dolphin. I like it. I, I, it very, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of nature walks, so I, I like it. There will be no pain when the game comes to an end. Swift, total, complete. That's Probably a good okay, I have my haiku. Are you ready to hear it? I am yes. ready to hear it. The more beets I eat, veil, potatoes, <laughs> biff, Friends all enter the red wee wee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, what do I win now? <laughs> Twenty thousand <laughs> gold. <laughs> Check your trade deal. That's what you win. Uh, yeah, uh, potato missed the story. I ate some beets and I was panicking because I thought I had a health scare and I was gonna die. Your gift um, has been sent. Oh, thank you for the 20,000 gold. We'll use this to maybe get some of the people back. No, no, no. Is it a different gift or is I, it I sent you a new gold? deal. Oh, he sent me a new gift. Thank you so much. You must accept Oh, yeah, it. I did. I was really nice to you before and I helped out a lot. Oh, that's... Oh, that's so nice. He's, You've got to accept it. You can't decline whatever the gift is. Jesus. He's giving me his it? entire civilization. Oh, <laughs> oh you people my God. return. Wow. Wait, that Karma. might prevent the end of the game, right? Oh, my, oh my God. God. Look at so the loyalty. <laughs> consequences. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What have you been building over here? <laughs> <laughs> now I understand. Why I couldn't see this, any of this for the last two hours. <laughs> wow. Honestly, that was kind of worth it. Yeah. Potato is still making 687 culture per turn. Mildly <laughs> worrying. his capital. Oh, he's not, he's not about to win anymore. catch up for a while? Yeah. No, I was never starting to catch up in this situation. <laughs> I was thinking it was maybe three cities that were very large. Okay. No, no, no. It's a, it's a whole ass empire. Finally, Jeb Bush is president. Oh, wow. See how, how long you can manage this empire for before you lose your sanity and trade it back to me. <laughs> nah, you can have it back. Uh, here we go. <laughs> I could just refuse your gift. <laughs> Trapped in an endless cycle. Well, why don't I... I'm going to give you my cities. Oh, we're trading. Most trading yours. places. I mean, you really don't want to live in my civilization. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you have it back. So what? We're, we're, we're two turns away from a tourism victory from you, Potato. Possibly one turn, if it's the way the overlap works. Okay, possibly one turn. Here we go. This could be the last turn in the game, which would mean, Potato, you could potentially win the grand prize. I forgot there was a prize. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, defeated. Oh. Yeah, we've defeated. Congratulations, Potato. Oh Thank you. How Ooh. come is showing a ruined modern city? <laughs> yeah, wait a we minute. We never got there. <laughs> we never got there. <laughs> this is what it could have been. Oh my god. Well, brilliant. We can take a look at the graphs. Player the culture. Mmm, that is a good one. I like that one. Player faith. That's also good. Player gold. Now, I like player gold. Player score. Very... Oh my god, look That's at his culture a... compared to ours. Jesus. You guys are like a rounding error at the bottom of the graph. <laughs> 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 so, are you ready for your special prize? You have won a lifetime of happiness in the form of the greatest game ever created that isn't Sid Meier's Beyond Earth. I am, of course, talking about Sid Meier's Starships. Oh my god, Sid Meier's Starships. I remember that. Now, I invited all of you here today because you're creators, and that means that in the agreement you signed up by joining, the stipulation was that if you won, you had to play the prize. So, Potato, uh. <laughs> you now have to make a Sid Meier's Starships video, and I'll put this in my video to guarantee that if you don't, uh. this is going to follow you around forever. <laughs> just do it, just do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to have this follow you around forever. You gotta just play <laughs> Sid Meier's Starships. Bite the bullet and play. Play Sid Meier's Starships. Almost. I really want to click decline gift. <laughs> you can't. I'll keep sending it. 
You can't stop me. Yeah, you I'll definitely you can never go back on a public promise that you've made to play something, right, Spiff? Like, I you didn't could never make a go promise. back on Hold that. Hold on, you I didn't. Never you no, you made the promise for me. Oh no 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 no! There's no proof. <laughs> there's no video proof of that. There's video proof of me saying I did though, and that's basically the same as a legally binding contract. Of course, congratulations to Potato McWhiskey. He may now claim his prize. It's important to mention that he himself said he is legally obligated to make a video on Sid Meier's starships, provided this video video achieves 40,000 likes. So get to work, my friends. I, a British person, must continue to find new innovative ways for the Irish to suffer, and only you can assist me on this quest. Of course, a massive thank you to you for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And hey, why not consider joining the community of addicted tea drinkers by subscribing? A majestic thank you to each and every one of our lovely patrons and channel members. And hey, if you're sat there wondering what to watch next, look no further than this video on screen now, chosen by myself to be perfect for you. Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have a lovely day and goodbye for now.